Today is Memorial Day, the North American holiday that honors the men and the women who died while serving in the U.S. military. Originally known as Decoration Day, it originated in the years following the Civil War and became an official federal holiday back in 1971. Many Americans observe the day by visiting cemeteries or memorials, holding family gatherings, and taking part in parades. Unofficially, it marks the beginning of the summer season. New at five, since it's important to remember those that died for our country on Memorial Day, today Fort Bliss remembered one hero by also returning his long lost Purple Heart to his family. ABC 7's Carrie Mannix has the story. A woman drove from Oklahoma to Fort Bliss to receive her grandfather's Purple Heart, something she says she didn't even know he had received. I was really excited to find out whatever information was is out there, you know. Cindy Suter got to learn about her grandfather's service before being presented with a memory box of Hill's items, among them his Purple Heart. We want to present you with your grandfather's Purple Heart. John E. Hill was a gunner's mate third class in the U.S. Navy. He received the Purple Heart posthumously for his actions on the MS Sun Oil, which Fort Bliss officials say was part of a 62-ship convoy headed for Halifax in Scotland. But on April 5, 1943, the MS Sun Oil was hit by torpedoes from not one, but two German U-boats. The ship went down, along with 43 merchant mariners and 23 armed guards. Hill was among them. To receive a Purple Heart, that means that he put his life on the line to save his other shipmates. The man that found the memory box was also here today. How he found it, coming up on ABC 7 at 6. For now, reporting from Fort Bliss, Carrie Mannix, ABC 7.